Sister Mary Beth uh, leads us in prayer. We will welcome the panelists that are going to speak to you this evening. And if you have questions, we would love for you to type them into the chat and we will uh, answer as, as uh, well as we can. Uh, go ahead, Sister Mary Beth, if you could lead us in prayer. Thank you. I, I was having that same, I can't unmute myself problem. So I was glad we got that worked out. So let us just pause remembering that we are in the presence of God and God is in our presence as we pray this prayer of thanksgiving. Each day is a new beginning, an opportunity for us to encounter God's amazing and steadfast love. Each breath we breathe, a reminder that our God is close to us again and again. Each step we take, an opportunity for us to show forth love, kindness, respect, and the common good for all humanity. Each job or task we do, a reminder that we have unique abilities, skills, and talents to share. Each meal we share, a moment of thanksgiving for our daily bread and the bread of life. Each night, a moment to be aware of the fullness of life, the demands and blessings of the journey, and to offer a hymn of grateful praise. With grateful hearts, let us remember that we are a people of hope, today, tomorrow, and forever. Amen. Thank you. Ruth, are there some other instructions that we want to? The, the only instructions would be if, you've, if you have something that you'd like to ask specifically to go ahead and put that in the chat. And then um, after President Elsner uh, provides you with a welcome, we'll introduce ourselves. Thank you, Ruth Rogers. Um, thank you for taking time to be on this, uh, I guess we call it an electronic town hall meeting and with our friends at Ancilla. I just have a few opening comments. We've systematically since this summer, well, and, and of course, many months ago, Sister Michelle, your president and I started talking about uh, mission collaboration with Marion University and Ancilla. And every time we've met up to signing the agreement and now and getting to know the folks at Ancilla, in my last visit until I got to visit with uh, students, faculty and staff, but I want to start with the students. Uh, Dr. Britt and I were in several meetings. We was, everybody was so gracious. Students were enthusiastic. Um, long story short, it's going to be a great privilege to work together. Um, uh, Ancilla College of Marion University, and we're all one community of academics and learners and people of faith moving forward and service to students and professions and advancing the common good. But to have Ancilla part of this, the founding sisters, the poor handmaidens of Jesus Christ are wonderful women, visionary, mission-driven folks. The faculty staff, we feel like they're a great addition to our, our faculty community and our student success and coaches and all that we do. And we're wonderful to add all these students. The future of Ancilla and its role, not only with the students, but in the community and how it's gonna grow. We're very enthused, plans are emerging, great ideas are coming forward. We have wonderful people interested in being part of it, the present, new, folks wanting to collaborate here. So we're very, very enthusiastic. I'm proud to be part of Marion University, even more so now that Ancilla College, the Ancilla College community, your great history and accomplishments are part of it. So we have panelists and we'll be able to take questions and we'll try to continue to do these kind of communication uh, uh, and, and uh, conferences and town hall meetings throughout the spring as we build towards the 21-22 academic year. So welcome everybody. And I call us now the Charging Knights. So go Charging Knights. We combined, uh, combined the two, a rather dramatic and powerful image. So welcome, Ruth. Thank you, President Elsner. We do have, now have some folks that have uh, called in as opposed to 
come in through video. And so if you are calling in and you have a question, if you could please, um, if you could please dial 937-901-937. 9371 with a text question, then we'll be able to answer that question. Um, and all of the panelists, I'm just going to announce the names of the panelists so that uh, we all are clear. So first, um, our own President Daniel J. Elsner, who just welcomed you. Uh, and then Dr. Alan Silva, our provost. I'm gonna wave Dr. Silva. Um, and uh, Dr. Britt is, is visible to me, so I think he may have a few words to say as well. And then Sister Mary Beth. And I believe that is uh, all of our speakers. Is, is Monique with us as well? Yes, and Monique Ware is an, a, a speaker as well. Just making sure that all of those people have the opportunity to be unmuted so that they can participate in the conversation. Thank you. Uh, so again, uh, that number, if you have a call, a, a text in question is 937-901-9371. And if you're participating by video, you can just send your question in through the chat. Uh, next, I'd like to ask Dr. Silva to say a few words about academics and our futures. Well, good evening, everyone. I hope you can hear me okay. Um, am I getting, yep, good, great. Um, been switching back and forth all day on from Zoom to WebEx and back to Zoom and in person and, and such. Um, it's a real pleasure to be here with you this evening. I was recently um, on the Ancilla campus with some of my colleagues and really enjoyed the beautiful facilities and campus that you have and also um, the great hospitality and warm welcome from all the faculty and staff there. So um, I'm really excited about this collaboration with all of you. Um, what I'd like to do is spend a few minutes um, uh, walking through the, the academic programs and kind of where we are in our review of those programs. I thought this might be most helpful to students. You're, you're in a program now. I know there's always some anxiety about what's going to happen to my program. So I thought I'd just take you through those. I'll do it fairly quickly. Um, we can always, of course, um, you know, follow up. Um, um, at, at future time. So, but let me just sort of take you through where we are. Um, so I'm gonna um, just kind of walk through a set of programs here. Um, and all of these appeared in a, in a memo that um, was written by President Elsner and your own president, Sister Michelle, that I hope was shared with you in some form um, sometime around the end of September. So right now, these are current academic program plans with of course, um, there's always some things are subject to change. So I'll just start with nursing. And although we're still reviewing our program offerings there, we will definitely have nursing at Ancilla and everyone in the associate degree in nursing program currently will be able to complete that program. Um, we're also in process of creating pathways um, from RN to BSN. Um, Marion has a completely online program and um, this could be a great opportunity after you finished your associate degree, if you wanted to continue into the BSN program. We have confidence in our clinical partners in the region that we can place students in clinicals there. Um, and we're also going to be looking at additional offerings in nursing. We know nursing is one of the, the very strongest programs at Ancilla and we're really looking forward to um, continuing with, with the nursing program. Um, with business administration, we're going to continue also with the traditional business administration program and also create a track in sports management and agribusiness as part of the business administration. So for those of you who are in business administration or sports management, um, that will be your program and we'll be able to continue in that way. Um, education. We're also um, going to continue with the education program at Ancilla. We're still reviewing the exact program offering in education, but we have plans to continue there. Um, for veterinary nursing, we're planning to continue with veterinary nursing. We're working right now with Ancilla faculty on the accreditation process mm -hmm. for that program. Um, with animal science, 
Um, we're also planning to continue animal science. Uh, we are working closely with Ancilla faculty. Um, we don't have a current offering at Marion. Um, so we're working on that, on how we can develop that program together. And um, but we are planning to continue there. Um, if you're in computer information systems, we, our plan there is to transition that into the already approved Marion program associate degree in business information technology. That's a program we're already offering um, in our two-year college here, St. Joseph's College. And we think that's a very good pathway for students, a good transition. Um, for exercise science, um, if you're in that program, we're planning to continue that as well, uh, the two-year offering. Please note that um, Marion has a great four-year program in exercise science too and other related areas. So for students who complete their, their two-year program in exercise science, you would have um, a wonderful opportunity to continue um, with a bachelor's degree and we'll be creating pathways from associate to bachelor's. Um, the other thing we're, we will be doing, the other major program offering we'll have is an associate of arts in liberal arts. Um, that's a two-year program. We already have an approved curriculum. And we have three tracks that are built into the Associate of Arts in Liberal Arts, in Arts and Humanities, in Social Behavioral Sciences, and in Physical Health Sciences. So if you're a student who's majoring in Behavioral Science, Communications, Criminal Justice, General Studies, or Health Sciences, this Associate of Arts in Liberal Arts will be your new destination for completing your degree. Um, we will have a couple of programs we won't be continuing. Um, one is in Culinary Arts, which I think has already been discontinued at Ancilla. And the other is in Agriculture Crop Science, um, which I believe appears as agriculture in your catalog. Um, so, that's sort of a program rundown, kind of quickly, I know, lots of things said there. Let me just make a few final points um, about teaching out and program transition. So the main message I wanna, I wanna give to you this evening is that uh, for all students, you will be able to finish your two-year degree at Ancilla College of Marion University. Um, that's a, the main message I wanna send to you this evening. Um, I know that there's a lot of um, uh, there's a lot of anxiety that comes with this when um, there's a, a another university involved here, but we're very prepared to work with you. If your program is not going to be continued in any form, then we will teach out the courses next year in your current program. That's what we call a teach out, and Marion has a lot of experience in teach out. Um, we've done this before and we've done it very well. If your program is going to be continued in some form, either with the same program name, you're in business administration, we're offering business administration, or if it's going to be continued in some equivalent form, you were in one of those programs I named earlier, like communications, criminal justice, and we can have a really great pathway into the Associate of Arts and Liberal Arts, um, then you'll be transitioned into that program and you'll complete your coursework in that way. So there's a lot of program pathways here that we're developing. And uh, I just wanna make sure you have that main message that you'll be able to finish your program, whether it's in the current program itself or it's transitioned um, into a new program. So I think that's everything that I wanna say program by program. There may be some questions about that. Um, but I will pass it back to you, Ruth. Thank you, Dr. Silva. Uh, and if you have questions about that, I know that Dr. Silva shared quite a bit of information there. If you have questions, feel free to put those in the chat. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and ask uh, Dr. Britt, would you like to introduce yourself? Sure, thank you, Ruth. Um, my name is uh, Ken Britt. I'm one of the senior vice presidents at Marion University. I wanna thank uh, Ruth, for your leadership in pulling this together. Thank the Ancilla team for helping to pull this together today. I just have a few points that I'd like to share as a follow-up with President Alistair and Dr. Silva. Um, 
you know, we are so excited about this opportunity and this transition to work with Insula College. I've been there many times, and there's just something that the, uh, the, the spirit about Insula College that you just fall in love with the first time you step foot on campus, and that just keeps deepening every time that I have a chance to go and work and uh, have conversations with the faculty and staff, and especially the students. As, um, as President Elster talked about our last trip up there, meeting with the students, I got so encouraged. Uh, you know, the, it starts obviously with the spirit and the poor handmaids of Jesus Christ and what they did to establish such a firm foundation. We want to be good mission collaborators, you know, not only with the sisters, but also with Insula College. And it's just a great opportunity to infuse those values as a continuation moving forward. Insula College has a strong foundation, a uh, rich history, an impact not only in Marshall County, but the surrounding areas. And we're really encouraged by that foundation. And we know that uh, through this joint collaboration and effort, uh, there's only one way to succeed. And that's you know, moving forward uh, with, with increases in enrollment and diversity in programs and the strength that we have together will blossom and bear much fruit for the region. There is a significant amount of community support I mean, every time the president has gone up there, every time I've gone up there, every time our colleagues have gone up there, the community loves Insula College and they want to see this thrive and they are standing by ready to continue to help, whether it's from the K-12 school partners or the business community. There, it's, it's such a rich and, and deep bench of support that, again, I think there's only one way to move and that's you know, thriving. And, and I think that what we will see uh, in the next five to 10 years through this mission, mission collaboration. Uh, the president's gonna be you know, too humble to talk about the success that we've seen at Marion University from 2001, but where we served about a thousand students full and part-time, where this past year we served around 5,140 students, if I got that number correct. So you see that number you know, escalating very dramatically and quickly I see that same opportunity for Ancilla College of Marion University. Uh, we serve, I believe this year, 342 students. Uh, in five years, I think that number is gonna be you know, closer to 1,000 with all the rich, you know, the, the different programs that we can offer together. Um, and, and, and it is such a hope-filled future. And I know it's difficult uh, right now, but you know, with COVID and everything for us being able to see each other and get together. But I do know that in, in, in a firm foundation of faith with the uh, poor handmaids of Jesus Christ uh, values and the students that we have and the faculty, it, it is such a great opportunity that the future is going to be extremely bright. So I'm excited. Uh, there's, there, there's, there's a team behind you uh, for our students to transition you into the life of Marion. Uh, for what the uh, sister, Saint, Sisters of St. Francis of Oldenburg started uh, way back in 1937. Uh, Ruth Rogers and, and her entire leadership team and Dr. Silva with his uh, leadership team from the academic side. We're here to support you to make the transition uh, pending HLC approval. I want to have that disclaimer in there. I think I'm being told that that's important. That's like one of the disclaimers that you have. Um, but it is very exciting and we're going to be here to help to grow even, even bigger and stronger moving forward. So thank you, Ruth, for the opportunity to speak. Sure. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and introduce myself. I, I should have done that uh, after President Elsner, I guess. Uh, I am Ruth Rogers and I serve as the Vice President for Student Success and Engagement at Marion, which means I get to work with all of our uh, out of classroom support stu services for students. And my colleague, Jennifer Plumley, who's the Executive Director of our Center for Academic Success and Engagement, uh, all of the academic support services for students and engagement services. Have, we've been here all day today at Ancilla College having a, a really exciting uh, uh, and very uh, fast moving day meeting and learning about uh, all of the things that are happening at Ancilla and getting to know the people that uh, care so much about students here. And we are excited about uh, sharing resources and working together to make the student experience at Ancilla College of Marion University, Ancilla College, uh, as exciting and successful as it can be for every student. So 
uh, can't wait to uh, spend the day here again tomorrow. And in fact, actually, uh, Jennifer and I are going to uh, head over to the dining, uh, to Zirkle Commons after dinner to see if we can't meet a few students and uh, get a better sense of the things that are on your mind uh, as we head toward uh, HLC final decision making opportunities. Um, uh, I'm, I'm going to stop there and introduce my colleague, our Director of Financial Assistance, Monique Ware. Um, Monique, would you have a few comments for our visitors this evening? Hi, everyone. As Ruth so nicely introduced me, uh, I'm Monique Ware, and I work in our financial aid office. I'm really excited to be partnering with Ancilla. I wanted to kind of just go over some general things for financial aid that um, are going to be very important for everyone um, as we're going through this transition. I definitely wanted to make sure to encourage students, if you haven't already, to make sure that you do go through the normal process of filing your FAFSA for the upcoming year. Um, you wanna make sure when you're filing your FAFSA, go ahead and still put Ancilla on your FAFSA as you would have done this past year um, and go ahead and, and add Marion on there too. We ask that you put both codes on there. We're still working on things on our side of things to, to get our system together, to be able to accept and, and get students ready and have everyone in our system. So we're really asking for students to put both codes on there for now. Um, encourage definitely to have Ancilla and then add Marion as well. And we'll kind of follow up later on when we're able to then transition and get those files into our system through the Marion piece. But we definitely just wanna encourage students to make sure, hey, don't forget, file your FAFSA. That's a big part of financial aid. You wanna go through that process again, as you would have done uh, coming into your first year at Ancilla. Uh, another big thing that I wanted to make sure just to let everyone know is um, the process will kind of be the same as far as um, getting notification, everything. So in the spring, probably around March or April, um, notification will go out to students uh, as far as with getting your financial aid and what things will be for the upcoming year. If you are selected for verification, so some of you may have been selected this year and some of you may not have, but for this upcoming year, you might be selected. And if you're not sure what verification is, if you weren't selected, it's just a process, kind of a random process that the federal government does each year. They'll select about a third of students where they have to turn in some additional information for the financial aid office to check and make sure that you've completed your FAFSA correctly and everything. So if you happen to be a student who is selected for this process, there are some additional documents that you have to turn in before your financial aid can be completed. So you'll wanna go through the normal process um, if you were selected this past year or if not, there is a process to turn those documents in um, and send those documents through the financial aid office at Ancilla. So they have a whole system that is set up when they receive your FAFSA that they will give you notification of that and we'll have uh, the process for where you can submit those forms and documents. You'll still go through that whole normal process that you did before and getting those documents submitted um, through Ancilla. So um, don't hold back as far as waiting until last minute to get those documents in because they're very important to continue on with doing financial aid for the 2021-2022 year. So um, we've already kind of been talking about getting those documents in and stuff. So you will get notification if you've been selected and how to get those documents turned into us. So that should be pretty seamless. Um, I know there's a whole system that Ancilla has to kind of let students know and get those things submitted online and electronically. So that will be the same for you, just to kind of give you a heads up on that. Um, those are the two main things that I wanted to kind of just let students know that that process will be the same as far as um, filing your FAFSA, getting that in. And then the biggest thing I, I want students just to kind of remember is to make sure to put both school codes, so both Ancilla school code on there and Marion school code too. Great, thank you, Monique. Um, we are starting to get a few questions and as, as more of those are coming in, I just wanted to say, um, the most important thing you need to do this week though is talk to your advisor and make sure that you're registered for next semester. Um, you know, this is that time and there's been so much going on between uh, uh, COVID and, and, and other distractions from uh, the opportunity to just be all in in the classroom. And so it's easy to forget some of the little things you need to get done. It's really critical that you reach out to your advisor and get registered so that you will have a plan for spring and, uh, and then can follow all the steps that Monique was just sharing as you prepare for uh, joining us in the fall. 
Dr. Silva, the first question I see is um, about, is there, are there next steps? So the question is, uh, as the culinary program is discontinued in Scylla, are there related courses that students might take at Marion as a third year student to build on their associate's degree, uh, culinary degree? Yeah, thanks, Ruth. I was looking at that question and I was trying to think um, quickly here, like what would we have? Um, I don't, um, off the top of my head, uh, I don't know of, because the student is asked, is there a related course for a student? And off the top of my head, I would say, no, we don't have a related course in that particular field. Um, but what we would love to do though, um, is um, talk with any student about their current program you know, what, what they were most interested in doing, what the interests they have in pursuing. And, um, and that's always key in the advising process that we would talk that through with you. And we might be able to find something that would really be of interest, but we'd probably need to know more about the student's program, like what they were really focused on and what they were interested in. Um, sometimes, sometimes in an area like culinary, someone might think about if they maybe wanted to go into the business area of food and food management and that kind of thing. And we certainly have a lot of business programs. That's not an exact fit, but that might be an area to explore. Um, but we'd love to just talk with um, students, you know, about those, those possible interests and, and paths. So, so a student who might be curious about exploring those, those thoughts at Marion, um, would we want them to be reaching out to admissions to talk about programs through that manner or through the dean's offices? I, I just, just to give people a sense of what path they should take next. Um, I'm thinking, I'm, uh, I hate to send people in a lot of different directions and I'm wondering if a point of contact might be admissions, if that might be the place as a point of contact. And then, um, and maybe Dr. Britt maybe wants to say more about that, but then yeah. because they, they partner all the time with the deans and the programs and the faculty, and then they could more specifically direct them. Yeah, I think that uh, the best point of contact in, it would be Sam uh, Brandt, uh, actually Yeager as of the last month, but Sam Yeager, she is our director of transfer students and she's already been up to Ancilla a couple of times. I know she's on the call today. Uh, so Sam, I think would be the right person to help quarterback all of the conversations about degree transition to a uh, bachelor's degree from associate's degree. And, and, because and she can coordinate, as Dr. Silva mentioned, she can coordinate with the deans directly on the students and evaluating um, you know, uh, transcripts along with uh, our registrar as well. And I see that she just put her name and contact information in the uh, chat function. And I'm going to um, read that out loud because that we have some folks that are on, on the phone and, and can't see uh, the information that Sam has just shared. So uh, Sam Brandt has told us that you can contact her at sbrandt, S-B-R-A-N-D-T, at Marian, M-A-R-I-A-N, dot E-D-U, or by phone at 317-955-6711. If you, if you lose that information, you can also go to our website and click on admissions and you can contact Sam in that manner as well. Great, thank you both. Okay, it looks like that is so far our only question. Other uh, comments from panelists while we await to see if there are other questions. And we really appreciate the student that sent the question in. Um, we appreciate you getting that kicked off. We have another text question, just wanting to know our, when can students reach us? Um, we are open through the holidays. Uh, there are only a few select days that the university is closed for uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's Day. But otherwise, uh, if you reach out to us, we will reach right back out to you at any point during that period of time. And then of course, any time during the spring semester.
Any questions from faculty, staff, or others connected with the transition and where we're going? Well, it looks as if we might be able to finish early, <laughs> but we can we can continue to do these at different times and try to find uh, as questions start coming forward. And I'm sure there'll be more in the second semester uh, too, as well as as the transition becomes closer. So, um, is there any other comments from folks at Marion or Ancilla? Because I don't want to hold people on you know, just to be holding us on. Sure. Um, I'll just add that, you know, I went through a lot of programs very quickly. Uh, I, I'll have all this information available and, you know, we can make sure it gets to, um, you know, it's, it's out there. It's with our admissions group. It's with um, the Ancilla folks, with our Ancilla faculty colleagues. Um, and we'll just make sure it's in a number of places so that you know, you know, what our transition plans are and what work we're doing in all of these academic areas. Thank you. So to, to our students, uh, to our Ancilla students that are listening, um, finish strong, uh, good luck on your exams, study hard. President Elsner. Yeah, that's, we, you know, we, we have a change going on here with COVID and all that's going on. Make sure you take care of what's so important right now, and that's finish strong, get signed up for your courses, don't get off track on earning your college degree. It's so valuable and makes such a difference in your future. And our partnership is going to open up a whole bunch of great avenues in, in your community where you're located at Ancilla, but also certainly here at Marion and other places. So Together, we're gonna to create a lot of great opportunities. Thank you for taking time to be on the call. Contact us anytime. We wanna develop relationships and a positive future together. So think of us as friends and willing partners at any moment, okay? And with that, have a wonderful evening.